All right, I have another game for you today, and man, oh man, I like Bulgarians on Creator. This is for sure. I am in the pink, playing as the Bulgarians. My brother is playing in the orange, playing as the Lithuanians. He's playing Lithuanians rather than Franks because the middle has all of these beautiful, beautiful relics. Actually has, I believe it's six for seven. No, it looks like only five. Uh, Saying some good lucks, have funds. Uh, meanwhile, playing as the Spanish is two, two, three, three, four, four. And playing as the Goths is M Bayou. And let's jump right into it. Now, the idea here behind the uh, Lithuanian build is that I will not get loom, and the reason that I won't get loom is because I will use that gold to get, well, additional mana arms. You get a free mana arms upgrade if you go to Feudal Age, so I really, really like that. I'm gonna, at some point, I will send a villager forward. Not this villager. I'm now scouting, this is a scout, to see where my opponent is taking wood, and you can see that the wood can only be taken on this edge of the crater and this area right here cannot be walled so I think this makes the strategy so much more potent. Uh, my brother I also want to buy him time to get to his knights and really start wrecking from there. I am doing some really bad camera work. I don't know, I'm just in the mood today. Had a great day of Asia Empires playing today and really looking forward to casting this one for you guys. Uh, luring the boar. So I like to go six on food. And then I like to get the berries and I like to have three or four. Now I did go for four because I want to build that barracks as quickly as possible. And you can see that this villager is now coming forward. He's not loom, so that's quite dangerous. Definitely want to keep him nice and safe. And I even managed to steal some sheepers from Purple. Now the reason that I was able to do that is because I figure out what radius those sheep spawned. And then because of that I was able to scout his base without scouting his base. I know that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but that's just DE things for you. And these sheep are going straight to my brother's base. Thank you very, very much. Uh, the next villagers will all go to food, and you do have these ibexes over here, so you might as well take them. I should be taking them right now, actually. Uh, I think the perfect amount of villagers to send to ibexes or deer or whatever it is is about three or four. Three, they won't finish it right away. Four, I think, is a beautiful number to send. And I am building a house now with this villager because that villager is not able to collect any resources, so I might as well get some building time out of him and I know that uh, Green's probably not going to scout over here so this is relatively safe. He is walling his base but you cannot wall on this terrain. There will always be some sort of a opening there. And meanwhile we are at 18 pop probably trying to go for a 25 pop building. Ooh, actually let's green spot this because that could be disastrous for me. Ooh, doesn't quite spot the barracks. They're very, very lucky. That definitely would stop the strat a bunch. I'm also not a waller boy myself, so you can see my base is completely open. Uh, although I probably will wall this wood line at some point, just because it's so exposed. Twenty bills, still no loomskis. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this rat so, so much. Uh, I am going to switch back to my perspective, uh, and the reason for this is because I want to show how this build works. So I'm almost at 500 food, I am just going to take my time and get that. Uh, looks like new corner is already up, he's going to try and go for a greedy, fast castle, uh, and I'm going to try and stall my opponents out as much as possible. Uh, did well in this wood over here taking the ibexes meanwhile blue kind of similar situation i know what he's doing he's just hanging out uh getting ibexes himself 
Now you definitely want to take hunt if it is there. Uh, you can also push deer, but why? You, you lose so much scouting information. And it looks like I am fuel now at this point, and I should start to off oh, 59 food instead of the 60 required for a minute arms. Very, very unfortunate. But you'll see, before I get to feudal, I will actually have a total of five men at arms ready to go. And I am also just building additional houses in case I want to create additional military. And ooh, is green going to spot this? I am taking more food. They go for these ibexes. I guess I had five instead of four. And I am also going to be taking additional gold very early on because I want to be able to get loom as soon as I have done this and let's just see if he can spot that no he cannot very very fortunate for me indeed and that's five men at arms that have now been produced I've not taken any additional gold yet and I already have the men at arms ready to go they are militia but they will turn into men at arms it looks like blue is going for some sort of a military push as well is getting men at arms himself and they're over here now a new corner is going to have to deal with that that's really really tricky uh, especially since he was planning on going for a fast castle i am now up as well and here they come uh, i think i do decide to build some additional spearmen and the reason that i go for spearmen is just in case my opponent goes scouts and man slaughtering over here these guys do have loom but oh my <laughs> Very hard to wall this section over here. He's going for additional walls. No, don't go in there. Oh, they're trapped. They're trapped. But they can definitely still do a lot of damage there. Uh, he's going to decide to fight this. I'm going to fight that as well. Um, let's see. I got one villager there. I want a man at arms goes down. I get a second villager. Looks like. Yes, the second villager does go down. Men at arms is now down, and over here we are fighting as well. I have a spearman in the mix as well. This men at arms can't quite get there. He's gonna try and run away, but man, this has already done so so much damage. Uh, even has to delete the lumber camp. And remember that villager that was forward over here? Well, she has a role to play as well. Love this strategy. Absolutely demolishing villagers left and right. And thank you for leaving that gate open. I am just gonna fight this. And wow, there's a lot of dead villagers on this part. And it's probably gonna get cleaned up at this point, but it has already done so, so much damage. This whole eco has been idolized. And let's see, the villager now comes forward. Uh, meanwhile, over here, looks like these men at arms were able to be fought off with simply villagers. Probably took some losses there. Yeah, I do see a dead orange vill but overall pretty good stuff i think i do build some additional men at arms just to keep this tower safe i did invest and in. let's see if i got loom yet still no loom <laughs> at this point i definitely do want to get loom i just haven't gotten loom yet and the villagers are coming out again and they're gonna go back to wood because it's the only spot that you can take wood easily so this really denies the wood a very, very tricky situation. And I know there's only two men at arms, but even still, uh, try to retreat it, try to get some more numbers up here. And that tower is going to go up. And whenever you do build towers, you definitely want to wall those in right after. And that is a waste of a lumber camp. You already had so little wood. And <laughs> tries to stonewall in over here and ooh, Computer's dropping frame rates, but does have to retreat now. More men at arms are coming in, and this is disastrous. I am walling that tower in just to be sure. Uh, meanwhile, a new opponent is relatively untouched. Uh, he did have to deal with those men at arms, but I think he dealt with those quite nicely. I'm gonna try and break this open, see if I can get in. And I guess I have one more coming. I realized that he wasn't going to go scouts. He is running. Running, running, and running, running. He is running away. This gate is eventually going to go down. Now these berries are denied as well. The tower doesn't quite change that. But we have five men at arms in Green's base. Definitely wanted to go for a 
Conquistador play, and I simply did not let him. Uh, now I realize that, oh, this is open, he has run away, uh, but I'm not going to chase this down. Uh, I want new opponent to chase that down, if at all possible. Uh, nice little Agile Villager over here. And stone walls on this stone, stone walls on the stone. I'm just walking around seeing where I can do damage, seeing if he's on these forward resources, if that's where he went. And look at this eco, beautiful, absolutely glorious. And I did end up walling the same for the stone gate over here, I don't know why. Uh, but I do want to cl start collecting stone because in Castle Age, uh, I will be able to drop those cheap crepos as my dog starts barking profusely. Uh, if you could please stop that, that would be appreciated. I'm going to go for that house, but decide, ah, it's not worth it. Probably want to go for a palace wall instead. And look, a whole bunch of archers over here that is going to be difficult to deal with, but he is now in Castle Age, so could just send over one or two knights. who super awkward. Do like the feudal aggression, but this should get cleared up by just something one night. Oh, and he clicked the gate. That's very unfortunate. And is there going to be enough to survive? Five archers versus one knight. Uh, four now. Three and one more knight comes. Two more knight comes. And yeah, that's going to get cleared up. Yeah, it does kill the knight, but is what it is. Uh, meanwhile, he is now on foot again, and man, Green is not having a good time at all. Uh, this is my arms failing to find damage at this point, so I decide to, you know what, try and see if I can get through here. Uh, eventually, I think I do realize that he is putting a market back here, so I'm going to pick another spot to attack, and honestly, I've already gotten value out of my men at arms, uh, done so much damage, denied this lumber camp, and even building another tower over here, didn't even realize that I was doing that to deny that mangle. Definitely don't want him to get resources from his base, and honestly, a crepos over here would be fantastic. Although I am a little bit short, and I'm not even in castle age yet. Uh, and do you like this little? You always want to wall in your tower, you don't want them to get it easy. Because uh, otherwise you can just build like that so easily. And looks like there were some more archers, but they got cleared up as well. Let's see, is there another group of spearmen now coming in? Uh, is getting the defense upgrades on them. Wants to keep them alive as long as possible. Wonder what my dog is doing. Uh, Gotta take good care of your animals and man, Lithuanians, once they get those relics in, these boys are gonna become beasts. Uh, do realize that he's going for a tower over here. Now, since I'm Castle Age, these become long swords, so that's very, very nice. And that's gonna make short work of that tower. Uh, is going to attack these long swords, but let's see if I can get that tower down. That tower does go down, and now I start slaughtering villagers left and right and this is really really bad i think at this point green has kind of given up and it's just like you know what gg no re or maybe he's microwing something over here looks like these guys are coming back but no that's not a good idea and i said look i'm absolutely demolishing green over here uh, i can come and help you in a little bit uh, this one villager, is he going to build a crepos? Don't quite have enough resources for crepos and should just garrison them here. Oh, another villager goes down and look at this idle villagers over here. Needs to get out, but there's a tower over here. Man, rough stuff. And <laughs> here comes blue with a single archer and I'm like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> and green is trying to block. Very, very cheeky. Uh, Spearmen are over here, the knights are over here. Ooh, they could have seen those villagers, then they could have gotten a whole bunch of kills if you realize that are now pikemen. So that's going to be very, very difficult to fight. Did not know that my scout was just passing. There must be a hole over here. This is why I like to use the grid mod when I play. And this villager is going to go down. I kind of given up on him already. Is he going to go down? Can those knights get him? No, he does die. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Uh, but there's still two long swords over here doing work against that market. I do have enough stone for a crepos now at this point. I think I just decide to yeah build a safe 
Crepos, because I'm feeling so far ahead of, and there goes my scout. Is that scout going to go down? Nope, just, just bad. I think he's stuck in Blue's base now. <laughs> yeah, he is just stuck in his base. That's hilarious. That scout does not know what to do. I'm going to go for a siege workshop over here. I think I realized that he's collecting gold, and I still have two long swords over here. Definitely don't want to be fighting long swords with villagers. Come on, little doggy. It's okay. Uh, my dog is so good, he likes to protect me from uh, dangers that don't even exist. Uh, I love animals. Also have a hamster and a turtle, but that's another side note. And wow, another free bill kills, and that is a GG called by green love this strategy i love the met arm rush on the wood line here and i guess these met arms are just going to town and my brother's saying look i'm fighting uh over here but that gets cleared up and the gg is indeed called let's go through the statistics just really really quickly and we can see I did end up getting MVP, 31-14, 27-12, not bad KD, uh, but if you do have Knights, your KD is always a little bit better, and terrible KDs for our opponents. I think they wanted to play a more boomy game, but Crater is not great for that. I uh, was able to get the most resources here, and Fast, Feudal, and Castle for my brother, and a whole bunch of gold collected from that relic, but more importantly, that gives four additional attack to him, and look at that dip that my opponent took right after that Man Arms upgrade came in, just to show you what these guys are capable of. No additional upgrades other than the armor, and they already have plus four attack. Absolute beasts! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of the support.